Hi guys, Brian from Brian Boas here. Coop's Pastel Boas are a line of Colombian boa which has been selectively bred for beautiful orange-red pastel coloration. Like many other pastel boas, the Coop's Pastel coloration is controlled by multiple genes, that is, it's polygenic, rather than being a single gene type of morph. Today I want to go over a little bit of the history of the Coop's Pastel boas and I'll show you the pair of Coupes Pastels that I have in my collection. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to the Brian Boas YouTube channel for more videos on keeping and breeding boas in captivity. The Coupes Pastel line of boas was founded by the European boa breeder Silvio Coupes. So what he did is he took boas that had an unusually large amount of reddish pastel coloration and he bred them together. And then he took some of the resulting babies, which were um, especially pastel looking, and he bred those together. And he repeated it generation after generation until the resulting boas were just this super red pastel color. So they are a pure Colombian locale of boa, but because they've been selectively bred, at this point they're kind of different from the wild uh, Colombian boas, but they still do remain a pure locality. So it's a little bit in between calling it a locality and calling it a morph. Uh, I'd be curious to hear what you guys think about that or do the, these constitute a morph or can you still consider them a locality boa. But regardless, I really like these boas. Um, I should say that like most of the um, pastel lines like the Summit, East Bay Vivarium, Red Group and Phoenix Pastels, you have a bunch of genes that contribute to the pastel. So you can breed a pastel, a um, Coupes Pastel to a non-pastel boa, and some of the babies will have the pastel coloration, although probably not as intense as the Coupes parent. You can breed um, two Coupes Pastels together and you'll get babies that, some of them will have probably even more intense pastel coloration. And you can breed them with other pastel lines, which will also uh, intensify the pastel. So these are polygenic, you have multiple genes. It's kind of like the, the trait of height in humans. Height is determined by multiple genes. It's not a simple dominant recessive type gene. You may recall I've also working with a pastel morph that's called the Marin pastel. And this is different from most pastel lines in that the Marin is a single uh, incomplete dominant gene. And if the animals have one copy, they have the Marin phenotype, which is a pastel coloration. And then animals with two copies are the Super Marin, which have this really intense red coloration. And I talked about Marin a few weeks ago in a video I did about my favorite morph boas. And I probably have to do a video specifically on the Marin boas in the near future. This is my female Coupes Pastel boa. So she was born in 2015, so she's going on five years now, five years old, and she'll probably be ready for breeding next year. And I first saw this animal probably about four years ago. My buddy had just bought her from Vin Russo, who was the breeder of this animal. And I was really kind of blown away when I saw her because not only were her pastel colors in the orange just so deep and so vibrant compared to pictures of pastel boas I'd seen, but she also has these beautiful silver eyes and the silver eyes just really contrast really well with her orange coloration. So just a breathtaking boa to look at. And so lucky for me, a few years later, he sold me the pair and that was about two years ago. So they've grown quite a bit since I got them. But um, you can see just this intense orange coloration this female might be the most intense Coupes Pastel that I've seen, to be honest. Um, just a very deep orange color. They're also a really cool boa, so they're really kind of chill. They have that great Colombian boa personality. They don't move around too much. They don't squeeze too much. You know, they just kind of hold on gently, and they kind of explore without trying to escape. Um, they the way they behave is almost as though they have an interaction with the keeper. You know, they're not trying to get away like some boas or bite you or anything like that. They're just a really laid back, cool boa. I think Colombian boas in general are like that. 
Um, these are actually the Coupes Pastels are the only pure Colombian boas that I have, although a lot of my morph boas are largely Colombian in origin. This is my male Coupes Pastel boa. He's also a 2015 animal bred by Vin Russo. So his coloration isn't quite as deep orange as the female. He's got kind of more of a salmon, you know, a pinky salmon color. Um, his markings are a little more symmetrical though. If you look, he's got these nice oval shaped markings between his saddles. Um, sometimes they call it a, a circle back. This is kind of more of an oval back, but you can see these nicely formed ovals between his saddles. And looking at his tail, you can see this kind of not too much red, a little bit of red if you look closely. Um, but just, you know, beautiful contrast in the tail coloration as well. Um, one thing about this guy, you probably notice he's got this nose bump. And so I had him in a four foot glass, sliding glass fronted cage for about a month. And he started to rub and his nose swelled up. Um, so I took him out of that cage and I moved him into one of my boa tubs, my 30 by 40 inch vision boa tubs in a rack. And since then he's been doing a lot better. He actually shed once since he had this condition and his nose, believe it or not, looks a lot better than it did. Um, I, you can still see there's a little bump and a raised area on his snout. I expect within another two sheds, it should be pretty much completely gone. So sometimes boas will just be kind of nervous, especially with a glass fronted cage. So if you see your boa rubbing and his nose swells up, I highly recommend moving to a cage where he's more comfortable, like a big tub, and providing plenty of hiding places for him to him or her to hide under. And that should help him stop the nervous rubbing habit. Although some boas, it's kind of tricky. I notice especially my Hog Island boas seem to be susceptible to rubbing. So like I mentioned with the female, I find these Colombian boas to be kind of a really nice balance between um, a boa that's too big or too small, you know, they get to be about six or seven feet. You know, I imagine he'll probably put on another foot, foot and a half or so. Um, and they're also nice to handle in that they don't really squeeze too hard. They move around and they're interesting, but they don't try to get away or bite you or anything like that. I think this male is a little more movable, you know, he moves around a little bit more. He's a little more high strung than the female, but still kind of a nice chill boa. It's been my experience with Colombian boas, just, you know, your normal boa imperator, garden variety, pet shop Colombian boa, as well as these Coupes Pastel boas, that they're very laid back and enjoy to handle, and just in general, more straightforward to keep. So if you're look, if you've never had a boa before, but you're looking around, probably your best bet is just to get your normal pet store boa. You know, you don't need a fancy more for some fancy locality boa. You know, just your garden variety boa imperator from Colombia. It's probably going to be your best bet. And although most of the lines of normal boas out there, they're not going to have quite the same intense pastel coloration as these Coupes Pastels, they all have their own beauty in their own way. So just a word of advice if you're a first time boa owner. So that's a little bit about the Coupes Pastel, you know, beautiful pastel boa the cool blade back personality. I hope this was somewhat helpful to you. If you have ever kept any other lines of pastel, I'd like to hear about that, like what your favorite pastel line is. Um, as always, if you have any questions or comments, you can write them below or feel free to reach out to me and enjoy your boas.